never. She will never. She will never. She will never. She will never enter that flight. She will never. Who has entered a flight in a family? No, no one. No one. She will never enter the flight. I refuse. I refuse. Yes, sis. Now, brother, I'm telling you what I saw, which I want to tell you, that you must not be discouraged. Yes, Daddy. Uh, but this discouragement here. Yes, Daddy. That is written all over you. Yes, Daddy. So you want to give up. This discouragement can make you to give up and leave this issue of pastor. Yes, Daddy. You understand? Because now this issue of the business. Daddy, yes. You are thinking about doing it. Yes, Daddy. That's yeah? true. That's true, Daddy. Yeah, so don't give up. Thank you, Daddy. Huh? You say what? It's true, my father. He wants to give up. He wants to give up. Even in the night, he does not pray. He just sleeps. The, the life will change. Amen. I say your life will change. Amen. I say your life will change. Amen. Hey, this man is giving up. So, huh? It's true, true Daddy. He's giving up. So, even the business he will do, it won't work. It's true, Daddy. Even ministries. Huh? It's, it's just going down, yeah, Daddy. It's like it's something is going down. I don't know how. It's, it's very good that you must go this, face this. Sometimes when you're a pastor, you face this. God is dealing with pride. Mm -hmm. So that you trust Him only. Amen, so, Daddy. So I'll pray for you. Yes, I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you again, together. Stand with your husband. He's called. Eh? You understand? You will see it. Amen, Papa. You're worried. Eh? Very worried, my father. We lost everything. You lost everything? Yes, I was doing ministry in Bluefontein and he got married to me and I lost everything. That's why my mother took you. Took you. Yes, Daddy, we came you here. You recover everything. Thank you, Jesus. You recover everything. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Mama, Mama, these people, they've touched my heart. I heard this man, you want to give up. And, uh, calling has not been easy. To be a pastor, he said, I wonder people say, I want to be a pastor. Ah, they, don't, they don't know, they don't know. <coughs> hmm? It's time to be a pastor. It's tough, it's serious. Okay. Dealing, it's difficult. And the problem is, when do you become a pastor now, you have entered now. But you can't just come out. People will question you. Eh? Children, it's like, it's like having a family. Once you become a father, you can't stop being a father. Now there are children and now there are all these things and you must continue. It doesn't matter. Can you see the eyes of this man? This man is crying when he says this. You can come and see the eyes of this man. Come. Because show this man, he's crying. This man. He's telling you, come, come, why is like you're afraid of him? You can see this man. And you can't come out. You can't. The children here are crying. Yes. To be a pastor, I don't know. Me, I, uh, I don't know if I can tell. It's very, look at this man crying. Is it nice to be a pastor? Very difficult. Very difficult. It's not easy, Daddy. It's not easy because when you are in ministry, there are children that are looking up to you and you must pray to them as well. It's not easy, Daddy. It's not easy. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? These people, uh, you know, calling itself. In fact, I'm going to tell you about calling. How, how is it? Even the calling is not easy. Not easy. I've lost everything. In fact, when I see someone say, I want to be a pastor, I said, ah, you, this one is playing. Lost everything. Some days you think you can just wake up somewhere else. But it's not easy to leave. 
people they think that uh, is being a pastor is about going to make money. This it's not like that. Sometimes, if we can say our stories, you can cry. You can tell. It's not easy, sir, at all. Like men of God saying, sometimes it's like you are you are going to make money. Half the time you don't have the money. <laughs> it's not easy. Sir. It's really not easy. Only it takes God. If God called you, then He'll give you the strength. But if He didn't call you, don't go for it. It is not easy, man of God. It is total sacrifice. You have to surrender completely. Yeah, man of God is. It is God's will to go through all this. As a man, you can't manage yourself. It's the strength of God that gives us to go on. Let us all stand. We pray for pastors, please. Today we are. You people here, you know. To be honest here, you don't know my heart. I'm crying here. I'm really crying, my heart. I'm just, you know, crumpy. You know, it's not easy. Let me ask my pastor. You people here, you know what you're facing. Amen. If there was a way that you can say, God, please, please. And now, after you have entered a journey, Satan is fighting you left and right, left and right. And you begin to say, oh, God. you people here, please, please, I, 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 these are servants of God. These people are called. You saw this man crying. You see this man facing down. You see, you saw this lady. This lady, she's even waking. You're waking? Yes, daddy, I'm but you know it's not, it's not easy. It's still not easy because you find that the whole community, they run to church to ask for help. Karabi, it's not easy. No, it's not easy. It's not easy. At all. It's not, but it's too difficult, daddy. It's not easy, daddy. It is not easy, daddy. Not easy. Listen to Mama. Mama, can you talk? You have too much experience. Uh, you people here, me, I want to tell people all over the world who will be watching this clip. Pastors really need you. As much as they pray, they need support. These pastors, they have children. They have families, and they have you as a member of the church. You, uh, it's not easy. Sometimes God wakes them up. They have to pray. And pastors also, they are meeting temptation. You are meeting double. They don't want to do wrong, but certain follow them. It's not easy at all. They want to live right, but Satan will come. Bring this and that and that. You want to take pastors away so that you followers, you lose hope. Because pastors have to preach hope. So let's stand with our pastor. We pray for them as much as they are praying for us. We support them. They need support. They have good children. Others are full-time ministry ministers. Others are full-time. Others are working, but it's the same. They need support. Let's hear now, now I, I believe it's very much difficult because we had our own desires, but because God said or God called you, you decide to leave everything so that you can do the will of God. Then as you start working, doing the will of God, people expect much from you and they don't know what you are meeting or what you are coming across. Behind closed doors, they expect you to be somebody who is, let me say, supernatural. You become what you are not due to them. They don't for know them, that for, them, for, for them. them. But the problem is they don't know that there are a lot of challenges that we, we are coming across each and every day. One day, uh, Prophet Andres said, when we are laying our hands on you, collect. we are collecting. Yes. So now as you are collecting all these things, when you go back home, 
you have to pray so that those things can go away from you and them and they never return so now people young people this nowadays i once spoke it in the church here go to school and study your books and stop being pastors don't cry to be a pastor when you are not if you are called that's fine but if you are not don't ever try to be because the challenges there are too much much more than the challenges that people are coming across because when they want you the pastor they attack the church when the church is attacked nothing goes on and after attacking the whole church it means you'll go down because you'll go down financially visions go you can't pray anymore because you'll be worrying and that's where the devil wants you to be but if we can hold on i believe as we have been with dd for this many many years god will never allow you to be put to shame the only thing we have to do is to hold on and and then the victory of the pastor it comes by holding on amen you, you know you'll be challenged problems you carry on you come and preach you do the work you do as the, when you are carrying on doing god will approve you amen for another level amen you know when you are just carrying on carrying on carrying on just carry on other people you pray for them they leave you mm. other you bless them they fight you you bring other clothes they sit on top of you you carry on when you are carrying on this victory amen where you are going amen so god bless you. and let's pray for pastors today say holy father pray for pastors now pray. holy father we pray I pray for ministers all over the world. Father, we are praying for them. Give them hope. Open their understanding and the wisdom. And we give them whatever they wish. Help them to stand in this way of righteousness. Help them to walk the walk of righteousness. Give them strength, Heavenly Father, to go forward. Father, wherever we come across along the way, Enable us to stand, Father. Today I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, your servants. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to say congratulations. You have done well. Thank you. God bless you. I wish even when you are home, you do the same. And then if you are here, you belong to another church, pray for your pastor, support him financially. You can see that. God bless you. <clears throat> How many of you are here? You don't go to another, you go to another church, lift up your hands. Please, there where you are fellowshipping. Thank you. Please, your pastor needs your support. He won't tell you, pastor won't, you know, like what mama is saying, the physical part of it is, pastors, they can't tell you that, hey, give me money. It's embarrassing to them. Because they are praying for you to be prosper, to prosper, isn't it? They can't come and say, can you give me money? Can you do this? Can you do this? You know, in, in our villages, in our villages, our pastors, they suffer a lot. There's no support. So what do they do normally? To find, I'm sure you've seen that. You see pastor visiting. You just see a pastor visiting the house and say, God send me here to visit you and do counsel and pray for you. After you pastor pray for the house there, <clears throat> The people in the house, they make tea for him. And they drink a tea here. Pastors in our villages, they live like that. They say, okay, I'll do a house visit. You come to the member, this one, you drink tea here. In the house, there's no tea. Tomorrow, he, he goes to this house. Always, he turn around all the houses so that he'll be drinking tea. And, and you know, here is drinking joko. There is five roses. Yeah. What will happen with the pastor? 
pastor, the members, they don't care. They just see him. They, 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 they just say, okay. Uh, I'm telling you this thing. And this thing is becoming punishment to our people. And it's becoming punishment even to us here. It, it, we, we give pastors what we don't need. Pastors must just come there. Yeah. Pastor, pastor is so hungry. He fasted three days without food. He says, if I come there, maybe you give him money. You buy him cold drink, Fanta. Fanta orange. He finished the whole bottle. Sometimes pastor won't finish the bottle because he's ashamed. You understand? He just drink small and in the heart is pray, God, touch this person. Touch this person. I'm not saying this to make you feel bad about pastors. I'm just saying the way we are so much ignorant, we people. The way we have been taught about pastors. Are you hearing me? We have been taught in the wrong way. Pastors are people who are written in the Bible. Raised by God in Ephesians 4 verse 11. That God himself chose some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Are you hearing that? To work to edify the church. You understand? So you people, when you come here, you must be edified. And you're not edified to be useless, to be effective. You understand what I'm trying to say? So now, listen to this. Ephesians, uh, Galatians 6, verse 6, we normally read it here, that you must share every good thing with your pastor, isn't it? Because he's the one who preached the word of God to you. That verse, I love it a lot. I love it because it's a judgment to us who are preaching the word to you. So I'm praying that you people, you start to learn this. The reasons why today we have got Christians who are poor, it's not because God cannot change the situation. It's because the servants of God are crying. You see, this man is crying. The pastors are crying. God just wants to use one person. It's a lesson to us. How can God use a Shunammite woman to take care of Elisha? What, how God can use, I mean, it just always widows, widows, widows. And whereas you people are going to work, you are failing to take care of your pastor. You are sitting on top of money like this. I was attending another church with Mama. I'm just saying this so that you people you understand why you have lack. You don't have lack because you are not giving. But what you are giving is not enough. You are giving what you don't want. What if we are given back? You can be angry. Think about if I call you. You are coming from Joburg. I call you to come here and tell me I give you 10 rand. I give you 20 rand. I give you 100 rand. What will happen? So you need to understand. Even the Bible says in the book of Malachi, take this gift and give it to your governor and see what he will do. We, we are not poor because... Uh, we are wished to know because we are made, making ourselves to be, to be poor. We are saving God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All these people were rich. All the people who were saving God were very rich. Today, when a pastor now, when God sent ravens to come and feed him, when God sent people to come and support him, you people, you talk against the pastor. Why? Because you are not supporting him. Me, I'm called that I have a snake. But I say I've got an elephant. It's the one that makes people to fall down here. But I say I'm not a pastor. Because they expect a pastor to come and say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, when he's hungry and you are sitting on top of money. I want to tell you that it's you today you can release yourself. You Christians can be very rich. I mean, in a church like this, where there's issues of seeing in spirit, you are supposed to be testing that spirit. And you're not doing that. I'm just saying this because you heard what pastors are saying here. When I'm praying for them, these pastors, I feel the burden. Are you hearing me? The burden they have. What's going on? 
Yeah. Until they run away. Until they all dead. It will never happen. It will never happen. You, you it say will what? never happen. Pastors must suffer until, 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 until. It's a lesson. Until, until, until. Can you hear the spirit? Until, until, until. It's a lesson. Until, until. Nobody, nobody will ever stand me. Nobody will ever stand me. Nobody will ever stand Why are you saying pastors will suffer? Pastors will suffer and they're still going to suffer and they're still going to die. So how do you want to make them to suffer? Oh, I took everything. Yeah? Took everything. I'm oh. taking I'm taking everything. I'm taking everything from them. Right now I'm taking everything. How, everything. How their do job. You do this? Their jobs I'm taking. I'm taking. I'm killing them one by one. One by one. They will never have anything. Pastors, pastors, no more pastors. On this earth, no more pastors. No more pastors. No more gospel. No more gospel. We are going to rule this. Who are you? We are going to are rule this to earth. Rule? We are going to Who rule this earth. We are all the owners. We are the owners. Which we owners? are the owners. Owners of what? We are owning each and everything. Each and everything. No more pastors. Pastors are dead long time ago. Even you, you are following. You are following. We are on top of you and your children. This thing that you are seeing is nothing compared to what is coming. What is coming? Yes. I'm killing them. I've already started. I've already started. Not stopping now. Nobody will ever they, stop me. Whether you are